hey everybody, it's Scott Omato back for episode 21 of my semi crap Let's Play. Guys, a lot of things have changed in between episodes. The main big thing is that I got a new computer, guys, if you don't know. So the quality of the video and uh, this world ought to be a lot better now. Uh, basically, I can run in a, a further render distance. So I've got it just set to normal plus 64, which is enough for... Here and I do have OpenGL and Fancy. I want to test that to see how well it does. And I did add some anti-aliasing because I've noticed that this uh, resource pack, which is Faithful 32, the grass is kind of a little too detailed. And in my older videos, I would get some uh, like compression noise in the video when you, especially when you sprint around. So let me give you kind of a tour of some of the things that I've done. And guys, I want to mention that. Uh, you know, I have a very small channel. I'm not getting a lot of views on this series at all. So um, that, of course, goes into any calculation. There's two calculations I make. How much fun am I having and how much viewership am I getting? So anyone that's watching this series, guys, please interact with me. Leave likes, leave comments. Let me know what you think. I had a very detailed comment from a user and I very much appreciated it. Their suggestions, their ideas, their criticisms, uh, what they liked, what they didn't like. I uh, very, very much appreciated that because, again, you know, that motivates me. That's what keeps me going in making these series beside if I'm having fun with it. And I think this uh, particular mod is an excellent mod, although it's in 1.6.4. It can be played by pretty much anybody on any computer. Uh, you don't have to have the best computer to play it. And it's extremely fun. I mean, you could spend many, many hours tweaking this. And I'd like to further customize this mod, you know, adding different buildings and different skins and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I'd like to see, you know, a, a group of people that gets interested in playing this mod uh, where we could, you know, create a little community around it because I think it's worthy of it. It's kind of like Mine Colonies, but better in some ways because it's more customizable. And, of course, we want to get to know our, our town folk better. Uh, I'm going to do an episode where we visit each one as we grow. We have 21 population now. Um, and check their relationships and all that kind of stuff because that's a fun part of the mod that you don't really get in like mine colonies and stuff like that. So anyway, guys, uh, I did make a car, all right? Uh, this is from the car and driver mod, uh, which by the way, the mod pack is available for download in the description. You don't have to play it exactly like I play it. Like one of the user criticisms was that they didn't like how I was doing the doubling and stuff. And you know, you don't have to do that in your play. I do it because it helps me to move along on camera. You know, when I plan episodes and I do episodes, we need to move this along. I don't have time to go and gather a whole bunch of resources. And yes, the mod is well balanced to be challenging like that. The buildings themselves aren't really that expensive overall, so it's not out of reach. But uh, again, for moving forward and stuff, I, I kind of just need to do that kind of stuff. In your play, you may choose not to, and that's fine. Uh, you know, you play like you like to play. So anyway, I got a cactus farm here. I've got Valen uh, doing it. He's wow. our lumber guy, but I needed cactus so that we could start to get into the deco craft mod a little bit because we needed cactus green. So I've got some of the clay and stuff made from that uh, <clears throat> that it uses. And now, unfortunately, it's not like the modern version that has the deco bench that you could just throw the clay in and go and decide whatever you want. Based on that, you do actually need to craft each one of these items. Uh, it's a little bit, you know, like if you look at deco craft in here, uh, deco craft, you can see there's a whole bunch of stuff, but you know, something like the picnic table, for instance, which I definitely want, you have to go through and give it the clay and each one has its own little recipe. And so, you know, that's, that's a little different, but uh, we'll need to go through and do that kind of stuff. All right. Uh, and decorate these houses up. Uh, the thing about these houses that they're, is they're just kind of a base of, of operations because all you really need once the house is built is this control panel. This is what you can't craft. This is what determines the building. You, you need to leave this and then possibly they need some chests depending upon the building. 
but you can do whatever you want. You could tear this building down and build a new building on top of it or just decorate this. So I have gone through and made some carpenter's blocks uh, where we can get slopes and stuff like that and put them in whatever block that we want. Uh, so I'll go through and, you know, decorate these up a little bit to look better. But the idea right now is just to utilize the space. So you see, I got some lamp posts. Uh, I've done better on my road. So let's kind of drive around a little bit in the car, uh, which is just a cute little thing. Uh, you know, it's not fast or anything like that. It has no sound to it, but it's pretty cool. It's controlled by the mouse, uh, how you steer. And so over here, I connected all the roads, which this barracks building is the ugliest building that will be fixed. Uh, but I got a sheep farm back here and we got some new people. I've got Persephone O'Reilly. Uh, I went ahead and connected the gravel roads to here. I've done a little bit more between episodes than usual just because I testing out the new computer. So I've got the roads connected over here and then I use this concept of tiling these houses back to back again. I'm really liking this concept. Of course, I need to put doors on here. And that got me four more people uh, just in a very, you know, useful amount of space here. So you can see these buildings are tiled and I think it looks pretty cool, uh, which this car does go up and down slope. So that's nice. So see, that kind of looks pretty cool too, uh, as far as a basic thing, but gets us more people in. So I want to continue using this, this concept of tiling. Uh, so uh, I put lines on the road here on not all the roads, just these main roads, basically. Uh, and we have our space to use back here. OK, and so we're going to put in a series of houses where we tile uh, here in this episode to get us some more people. But I've got enough staff now to run the restaurant here. So we've got a fully functional fast food restaurant. Let's meet some people. We got Norman Plunder who is our manager, all right, he's counting today's takings. And we have this cutie here, this is Violet Twisty Bees, and she is our fast food waiter, okay? And then we have uh, Simon Derp is the fry cook. So hopefully he doesn't derp that much, but this guy looks perfect for being the manager. He's got his little hat on, all that kind of stuff. Um, so they go through and they make burgers and fries for it for us uh fries and burgers and then you can eat those and then the some of the folk will come and gather like willie's here shopping at the semi burger so if they're fed or they need to be fed they can get burgers and stuff from here as well and so it's got a little seating area and all that's pretty cool pretty cool little thing uh so we've got people staffed for that. Basically, we need to get the courier going, and then that'll be somewhat auto self-automating, where that the courier goes and picks up wood and crafts, uh, will deliver stuff to the builders and, and uh, to any of these people that need stuff, I believe. Uh, so that's pretty cool. It'll take us to the next level of automation. So I did reintroduce, uh, by the user suggestion, uh, let me get their name real quick guys so i can shout them out hold on just a moment okay guys so the commenter was named mostly amazing so i want to shout out mostly amazing uh because again uh, i really like that feedback that they gave and uh, i hope to see more of that guys i'll shout you out if you uh interact with me and you know just help to grow this series share it with other people your friends let them know uh, that you know we have this going on because it's it's pretty fun it's overall it's extremely fun pack all right so what we want to do again is we want to uh, start to do a couple houses and I want to use this tiling concept that we have all right so I've got a couple houses picked out which by the way I have a creative world that I have every one of these residential well these are not the residential but I have all the residential buildings built in the creative world uh, and so I could share that with you guys so that you can do like I do, which is go through and just browse. Now there's a bunch of them, a whole bunch. And so I have some other worlds. Maybe I'll do an, ep an episode that's like a supplement to this that shows you like how to separate this off into separate uh, creative worlds that you can work in because you do not want to have them uh, in the same uh, multi-MC profile because the all the uh, folk will get confused in between the uh, creative worlds. So you really need separate instances and multi-MC. 
and maybe I'll go over some of that stuff, but I do have a world that you could go through and look at all these buildings that are built. And that's what I do is I go through and choose them. Then I have another creative world where I'll build them and try to tile them with some concepts and stuff like that and try to arrange them together. Okay. But uh, basically based on the, the feedback from that user, mostly amazing, he liked to see the to-do list here, he or she, um, and so I've reintroduced the to-do list. Now, if you remember early in the series, I actually lost the first to-do list I had when I died, uh, but I've reintroduced it. So we have gotten all this stuff done, butcher, lumber, milk, cow farm, sheep, chicken farm, sheep farm. We need to do a pig farm, uh, but I don't have a lot of use for it right now. And it's just more entities, uh, wheat, carrot, potato, uh, melon, pumpkin, mine, builders, merchant, grocery store, bakery, bank, clinic, cheese factory, Dairy farm, semi burgers, and then we need to do the depot, uh, barracks, cactus farm, and glass factory. All right, so I have pretty much all the buildings uh, that are the commercialized buildings done. Now, of course, we're going to do more than one of these uh, as we expand out. You know, e each area will want to have its own uh, kind of thing, and again, we can redesign these uh, for that purpose. Now, you. You can't easily or maybe not at all redesign them before they're built. I'm not sure about that. I haven't gone through and really looked at how the schematics and stuff are saved, but I don't believe that you can. But anyway, uh, let's get going while we're talking. Uh, have him build stuff, all right? Uh, because there's, I'd like to get four buildings made. It, I don't know that we'll get all four, but at least I want you to see the concept. So I lay out the blocks uh, according to the building, and these are small but tall. All right, so let's get Willie in here, okay, and choose the building. Now this one's going to be, and uh, my tiling here on the screen changes a little bit. I can't really find a happy medium between visible enough for you guys and for me, really, and the search bar. So I, I don't know. I'll keep looking at that. There's not extremely a lot of options in uh, the uh, GUI scaling. But on this one, we want to do Cute, and it's Cute Family House by German Tim. All right, and so basically we need fence and planks and wool and logs and cobble and glass and bricks. All right, so let's have him build that. Uh, I should have pretty much the items that we need. Uh, cobble, I think it said cobble, but then it was a little bit of glass, some wool, some bricks. Uh, I was making bricks, so let me let me go and get bricks. Uh, we'll see where Luigi is. He should have some glass and some fences and some wool. All right, let's put that in. And then he'll want the bricks. So wool, glass, fences. Yeah, there was some cobble and logs. All right, let's throw some logs in there. And so let's just go get the bricks real quick. And of course the sprinting, uh, I had another user that commented that they downloaded the pack and whenever they hit the shift key, they were sprinting 10,000 miles an hour. Um, that's maybe the default setting uh, using the shift key for the uh, sprint for the default mod or the flight mod. Uh, sorry about that, guys. Uh, I don't know that I configured like the keystrokes for stuff, so you may want to check that to be sure that the keys are assigned. Uh, not to shift. I believe that's in options under controls. Uh, toggle speed right here. Should be toggle speed, toggle flight, or and then you can speed plus, speed down, always sprint. Uh, there's These are the settings in here. So go through and be sure those aren't assigned uh, to ones that you don't want. Because yeah, when you first turn on this sprint, like from its default, it is so unbelievably fast that you cannot handle it. Uh, so I can imagine that was a big surprise for the, for the person. Like, oh my goodness, uh, that's not a bug. That is, uh, and again, you can easily toggle off mods like that if you don't want it. Uh, because I do try to tell people that that flight mod will kill you so easy if you do not have this glider that you use along with it it will kill you guys so be very careful with that uh but it's it's useful so uh just for those that are just now tuning in i'll show you the the 
how it works basically i have it assigned to the f key and then i can fly but you need to use the glider before you hit the ground so enable the glider turn off flight and then you're fine to land uh, otherwise it takes the fall damage of the height that you were at and it will kill you so easy i've died three four times okay so he finished this house here and again this is a kind of nice little um house that i'm kind of going for this uh, historic downtown look if you uh, are uh, in america uh, and you know i'm sure other countries do the similar thing then you probably have seen how these older downtowns were made i need to rotate the stairs um they call you know a lot of people a lot of uh, the towns will call them their historic downtowns or whatever and it's like uh, a lot of these towns and stuff were done in, I think, a lot of construction around the 40s and uh, 30s and 20s and around like that, uh, 1900s, where they um, had this kind of gothic style and, you know, the small town shops and stuff were a lot. That's before we had all the big box stores like Walmart and all this kind of stuff. So we had a bunch of small merchants and then they would have these small little buildings like this along with it. So... Uh, I'm trying to kind of create that feel now as we're moving forward uh, of the historic, you know, district. Uh, this guy is so slow with that. Uh, so we're going to want to tile another one together. Now, windows and stuff will work out once we get it built up. Uh, is this a new person? Yeah. Hyacinth Claws. Nice. Okay, so uh, we'll build another one like right next to it here. And you can see it didn't take long to build. I'll put that gate back. Uh, let's do that. So put one here. Building constructor and we should have all the materials, of course. So let's get Willie back. And Willie is now level four. And remember, Willie is married. And he's married to Ursula. So cute. Uh, and another thing about Ursula is I was saying that she was a this high level builder or, or soldier or whatever uh that's her age guys when 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 you look at that you see her age uh so glass full and then I, yeah i have enough brick i think that's everything You can see all the materials off on the side, but they're really hard to read up against the sky. 104 planks. Did I give you enough plank? Yeah. Brick, six fence, and logs. Yeah, I've got logs. All right, that should do it. Uh, so, yeah, Willie's married to Ursula, and Ursula is our soldier. Now, I guess I can click on her and see her level of soldiers. No telling where she is. She's always out and about somewhere uh yeah i'm not sure where she is we'll check her but that's actually their age so if you see this luna button 25 that's her age let's see let's look at her relationship let's get to know some of these people a little bit so she's an acquaintance with basher dulek and he's our cow farmer guy she doesn't like grunter grunter's off in the glass factory so she don't have to worry about him too much but she doesn't like him Juan Strider, uh, yeah, I think he's a cow guy too. Now, Basher might be our, uh, he's our uh, wheat farmer. He's the, he's Harry Potter. Uh, Maggie Reed, Quaintance, Posey, Easy Rider, Oswaldo, all those people. So sh she's acquaintances with people. Now, apparently when you have the clinic, they can have babies if they're married. I haven't seen that happen yet. And we're gonna want that to happen. Uh, but apparently that's a thing. Let's see if Willie's waiting on something. He's waiting on log. Uh, okay, you got log. Luigi, Luigi's going crazy because there's something floating in there that he wants. And he'll go, yeah, he got it. So yeah, the, when stuff breaks inside here, he'll sometimes go crazy trying to get to it. Let's be sure he has everything else. Uh, so yeah, you know, they'll... De Develop relationships. So yeah, he's finishing. Um, also, I'll want to fix these roofs a little bit. 
to join together better like there's this uh slight uh oh uh, you'll see it you'll be able to see it on the side there's this out outcropping on the top there that goes on the edge i think i'll mirror them on each side and then connect these middle sections uh see how that is different and now if i put that on each side it should look pretty nice but it looks weird right now because you know it's it's asymmetric all right so he finished that so let's go ahead and now take a different type of house and tile it with this one all right and, and again maybe you'll uh, begin to see what i'm talking about with the uh historic downtown type look uh dirt react dirt here uh this this tool is like super good for dirt but not that good for most other stuff so all right uh, i have these laid out let's go ahead and put down our chest and uh this one has some dirt that it has in the front it's supposed to be really one down in the ground uh, but we'll work with it to where it won't so we got a new guy carlos plum drop all right so we got hyacinth claws and carlos plum drop uh so let's see i know get willy and choose the building now of course i can have more than one builder going at a time and i think now that i'm not worried about uh lag or anything you know I, my older computer wasn't very powerful so i was always concerned of having too much stuff going on at a time or not having enough people to do it all right so let's see what you need will cobblestone a stack planks a stack all right so these are real small i, I need to go get some more cobblestone probably uh unless we, let's see luigi he's probably in the house trying to steal stuff yeah, he just wants whatever's in there so bad. Wait, Luigi, come here. Stop, guy. Uh, you control. Oops, I hold that. Uh, you control their distance. Like he 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 prioritizes being close to you, but then he wants stuff inside of there. So he'll keep trying to go back and forth and back and forth to get it. Uh, let's put this down. All right, let's give him something to get now. Get out of here. But yeah, he'll go crazy trying to get that thing in there. And he picks up all the cactus in the cactus farm. Dirt. Uh, let's see. I don't have a lot of dirt. You got any, Luigi? Come on, bunny. Uh, I don't think it takes much. But you can see it puts this dirt in the front because it's supposed to go on the ground. Uh, but we'll either get rid of that. Let's get him his thing. What do you want, Luigi? Guy, okay. you're going kind of nuts on me. There you go. Get whatever it is. Scratch that itch, buddy. There we go. Now he's better. <laughs> yeah, he was... Now he's going to try to do it in here. Yeah, he's going through convulsions trying to get whatever it was. Which is kind of useful because, again, these houses, if they're not built in the exact same direction that they were built originally, then stuff falls. All right. Torches, uh, beds, and doors, usually. So, again, like I said, I could go through and recreate a lot of these houses to update them to get rid of the torches and put in these lights and stuff like that to make them not drop like that. Leave off the doors uh you know things like that or, or have directional ones have the best ones one for each direction that you could choose uh so yeah this probably not very well lit in here i think the torches fell and you just kind of got to watch that uh, no it should be fine this has got lights in it okay there's the control panel control panel is actually on the roof now you can see i gave it oak planks and it did jungle and that's fine i it looks a little weird, but I think it matches with the brick okay. And since this is oak on top, then we should be good. All right, so let's uh, get Will build another one, but then I'll show you the, the look of it, all right? And tell me what you think, guys, if this is a good idea. But I, I do like this idea of tiling because I think, you know, none of these uh, structures are amazing by themselves at default. Again, you can decorate them up. You could totally rebuild them. But uh, I... I, it is a, like a, a, a toolkit 
that you could build with for different styles. And if you can combine them together, then, you know, to tile them in different cool ways to create city blocks and stuff like that, then it would uh, be fun. This is Easy Cottage by Sunny Bunny. That's what this one was. Uh, so planks and cobble. Uh, starting to get low on cobble. Cobble and planks were fine. I think Luigi's got some cobble. We're going to need to restock that. That ought to get it done. All right, so he's just chilling, going to work. So, yeah, you can see that these kind of tiled together, and I uh, set it to where, like, they're offset from the middle of the road a little bit. It's like the center point here uh, is set there. Now, there's not... It's, it's not set right in the middle. He needs dirt for that. Okay. Now, Luis, he's doing this little hoppity hop thing again. Uh, dirt. Oh, uh, yeah, let's clean up the dirt, actually, on this. Uh, let's see if we want to just replace it or leave it. I kind of like that it's uh, not the same depth. So we might actually just, you know, a lot of these buildings are square and flat. Which personally, I think again fits the uh, Lego type style of what we're going for here. You know, and we're not going for realistic uh, housing, really. We're going for kind of a look. Uh, and, you know, if you could create your own Sims type feel, now Sims can go super realistic uh, or try to, you know, in its own way. But we're not really going for that. We're going for kind of a cartoonish kind of world. So Violet's out jumping around. I guess these screw with Ooh, them. Those burgers smell lovely. I've seen that. That's kind of a thing. These go above the road. They may not know how to totally deal with them. Uh, that could be a problem. Yeah, I think she's stuck right there on that. She doesn't know how to navigate that. Let's check it. Is she just kind of standing around, not knowing what in the world to do? Uh, I'll have to watch that. I'm not sure it's that's true or not. Yeah, I think if we like put a little porch or something on here, I may just leave it where it's not totally flat. No, she just walked across that just fine. Okay, so that's not a problem. Uh, but yeah. So you tile these together, and again, they start to have a, a downtown block feel. Uh, and, you know, the spacing between them is not bad, but you want to go through. Let me rotate the stairs on these. Okay, that should be fine. So that'll rotate them on top. Again, I'll take this kind of concept, which is in the middle right here, and move it over to here on that side, probably. Uh, and then use the middle and connect them together. But we'll probably do like a little porch or something. I don't have cobble stairs on me at the moment, um, but we'll do that, something like that. But this tiling together, the main thing you need to look into is how these windows and stuff work. Like, see, actually that's fine. This one's not, this one's weird. So you'd go ahead and clean those out uh, because again, these buildings aren't necessarily meant to tile. It just kind of works out that way to be cool. So we got a new person, uh, oh, Luna oh, Nibbles. I've got pins and needles in my leg. Uh, yeah. So some of the skins and stuff are pretty interesting. Uh, they have some character skins, you know, like uh, uh, Riker from Star Trek's one, Harry Potter's one that we've seen so far. Cable Bunts. Uh, that's interesting. So Carlos Plum Drop Hyacinth Claws Cable Bunts and Luna Nibbles is who we got. So cute names in here too. But anyway, guys, we got that done. Uh, our next thing is doing the courier before we start to go out in space, uh, go out in more areas. I also, I think I'll do some kind of different type of residential houses along here. There's that whole category of uh, called other. If you look in the, the boxes, like if I, if I go and I look in the box, let me see if I can get it, let me think. Uh, so, of course, I need to hire the builder. We'll get into that later. But basically, there's a whole different category of non, uh, 
have habitable, I guess is the word, house houses where people don't live in them. Uh, and there's stuff like, you know, bowling alley and all this kind of different stuff. Uh, but they, uh, you know, decorate up your world and fill out your world. So we'll want to look into that as well. Uh, but we're coming along quite well and I'm cruising around in style. Uh, I put in these paths. I'm just playing with concepts to just kind of pull things together. I think they're from the Jammies Furniture mod. Uh, and so I'll go through in between episodes, put hay bales here. Um, but again, I'll go through, through through episodes and play with some of this stuff a little bit. I do like these light posts a lot. I think they fit the theme. There's more kinds of traffic lights and all this kind of stuff as we really get more urbanized. But guys, it's, uh, in some part, it's up to you how much I consider, uh, how much I do this series. There's been a, a, a pretty good stretch here over a week or so of constant daily episodes. That won't continue because that was me moving stuff off my old computer and uploading it. So um, there'll be some time in between episodes. And again, some of that depends upon how much you guys interact with me, how popular this series becomes. Right now, it's, it's, it's not kind of sad guys i mean i get maybe 30 views tops per episode and that's that's not so good <laughs> that's kind of sad it's kind of demotivating and in some ways i mean every comment matters every dislike hurts badly uh you know not really but it does because there's so few interactions so if you do dislike it for some reason guys for some reason uh, you know say why you know man up a woman up and say why in the comments why don't you like it uh and i, I know everybody doesn't like everything and there's drive-by trolls i understand all that and it, it doesn't really bother me but interaction means a lot that's my point you interacting with me means a lot in how i proceed forward especially since i've made this significant investment in a new computer i need to do what's uh what people want to see to a point if i enjoy it i'm not going to totally like sell out and do stuff that i don't enjoy because that that's pointless that makes no sense and i do really enjoy this pack so far so let's keep going guys thanks so much for watching again i and interacting i do appreciate you this is scott omato have a great day bye